Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Eye of Chaos series, where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. So, um, without further ado, let's see who the unlucky investigator this time is. Um, let's see if we can get another rogue, because rogues usually do well in true solo, but we'll see. Uh, well, it's uh, another mystic, and it is Jacqueline Pine, so we are playing another mystic then. Okay, well, mm, at least Jacqueline can uh, use her ability to avoid the auto fail, so we'll see how this goes. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and build the chaos deck for Jacqueline. And we are over on ArkhamDB.com, so let's uh, search for Jacqueline here and build the deck. So here is Jacqueline Pine, and let's just push the chaos button and see what happens. Like so. Okay, well, uh, first off, <laughs> we have a knife. Not good for Jacqueline. Well, uh, might be to defeat the cultist. We have a Kukri, which is a novel card. Uh, Scroll of Secrets. Uh, uh, Dragon Pole, not good for Jacqueline. We are not gonna fight with Jacqueline. I'm hoping to get spells because we have a high intellect or high uh, willpower, I mean. So we want some spells to use. Uh, we have uh, uh, Ineffable Truth, which is an evade spell. Well, at least then there's that. We have Mist of Relay, which is another evade spell. Uh, we have a Rite of Seeking with uh, times two, so we uh, have the ways to uh, discover clues with our willpower. And we have the Sixth Sense also, which is a really good card for true solo uh, mystics. So three spell assets that help us uh, investigate, that might help us. Uh, then we have the Saint Huber Ski, that is a good uh, intellect can willpower boost and also can heal some uh, horror. Ropes of Endless Night, uh, damage uh, soak, so that's always good. Uh, David Renfield is uh, a good card for sure. Resources and Sled Dog, <laughs> not that useful, but it's still uh, adorable. Mm, Arbiter of Fates is the Jacqueline's own card, so. This we want to see early on, so we can start using our ability twice a turn. Uh, Dark Prophesy works somewhat well in Jacqueline, so you might be seeing that in use. Deny Existence is always a staple good card for uh, Mystics. Emergency Cash, uh, well, Resource Generation is always welcome for Mystics. Uh, Meditative uh, Trance is Uh, yeah, well, if we can fill our um, arcane slots, we this is a healing card, so that's at least good. Uh, Moonlight Ritual could be good when uh, we are overusing David Renfield, for example. Uh, Parallel Fates, another somewhat okay card for Jacqueline. Uh, Premonition, uh, it's an okay card. A storm of spirits. Well, uh, if we get well, there shouldn't be a situation where we have multiple acolytes in the same location. Uh, it might happen somewhere or another. Ten fates, uh, not useful. Voice of raw. This is actually a good resource card for Jacqueline. Uh, skills we have uh, perception, reckless assault, uh, not good. Mystics or high uh, sanity. Investigators uh, <laughs> run for your life, same thing as the Reckless Assault, and say your brains, same, same thing. And <clears throat> the random basic weakness is panic. After you take a, a play, engage, or resource action, you cannot take any of those types of actions for the remainder of the turn, so this is quite restriction, and this can be healed away with sanity healing. Uh, so we might need to try and use the 
a meditative trance for to get rid of that. But yeah, uh, at least we can evade and uh, investigate. So not gonna fight that much, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, next up, I will build the deck and we'll see how Jacqueline does. So I'll build the deck and I'll be right back. Okay, and we have built the deck, so we are ready to begin. So the decks are reshuffled, and we can draw our opening hand and see how this goes. So let's get our five cards and see what we can do. Scroll of Secrets, Kukri, Moonrat Ritual, St. Hubert's Key, and Deny Existence. I'm actually mulliganing all of it. Storm of Spirits. Um, in a emergency cash, then fate, uh, right of seeking, and moonlight ritual. So we are playing the right of seeking and trying to get some of those double clue locations with that. So I think this might go a bit differently than usual. Um, we'll see how, how this starts going. So, um, First action, uh, we'll play the Right of Seeking. Costs four resources. Second action, we are just investigating here, and I'm committing the Moonlight Ritual. So I'm investigating uh, three versus uh, four versus two, and I'm using uh, Jacqueline's ability. I'll uh, signal it like this. So I have used it this turn. So we reveal two additional tokens, and we have, have to pick one of them. Four versus two. Uh, we pick the zero, so we'll succeed. Grab this clue. Last action. Let's move to River Town. Uh, no enemies. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, Kukri, and we can only score. So uh, that was the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are doomed to the agenda. First encounter card is uh, hunting knife gun. Okay, <laughs> right away we need to get rid of this uh, thing. So, just evading this guy, so committing uh, temp fate to the test and using Jacqueline Pine's ability. Uh, we pick three tokens and pick one of them. And I am up by two. Uh, let's pick the Elder Sign. And uh, this get cancelled, so this guy is evaded. Then uh, we'll investigate. So, 3 versus 1. Oh yeah, I, I should have charges on this. But I'm not using the Right of Seeking this time. It's a plus one. We'll grab this clue. Last action. We'll move to the Miskatonic University. Uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. This guy ready. We'll actually need to mark this guy somehow. So it's here. And we were at the Miskatonic University, so... Okay, and... Uh, I will draw a card, we get a meditative trance, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another doom. And counter card for this turn is locked door. Well, that sucks because we were just about to get the clues from there. But now we can't because of that locked door, and we are pretty bad at breaking that entrance. So I think. What we'll do is uh, move not to north side, and we will get the clues from here. So I'm using the right of seeking. I'm using Jacqueline Pine's ability again. So I forgot to ready. So uh, drawing three cards. So we are investigating five versus uh, three. So picking three. 
and uh, we'll pick the plus one. So we succeed, we'll grab two clues. Last action, let's spawn a cultist. It is Wolfman Drew, which we probably won't try to defeat, so that's not good. We really don't have good ways to killing these cultists. Okay, uh, enemy base, this guy hunts uh, over here. Upkeep. Uh, we'll draw a card. We get Reckless Assault, which is useless. And we spend two clues and we gain, gain a resource with, with the card already. And uh, uh, that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Counterpart for this turn is an acolyte. So uh, we are in a bit of a bind here. I think we will put the acolyte to the, uh, your house. I think we don't have time to go defeat that guy before we advance. It's a shame, we just lost the turn there. Uh, that is the uh, Mythos phase, we'll go to the uh, Investigation phase, so we'll... Mm, do we want to... Yeah, I think we'll try running past the uh, Night Count, so that engages us, we'll evade. We don't have anything to commit to this evasion, so we'll just evade uh, two versus one using Jacqueline Fine's ability. And we hit an Elder Sign, so I'll pick that Elder Sign. Or oh, yeah, I'll, I'll actually cancel that and that, so we'll draw a card. We'll keep the zero, so I will still succeed. And uh, let's move to uh, let's move to Ebert Town. No. Let's move to uh, Saint Mary's Hospital. That is our turn. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, this guy readies, and uh, we'll draw a card. Uh, Arbiter of Fates, which is really good, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, uh, 5 of 6, uh, and counter card for so this turn is Grip Chill. So we are testing Intellect uh, 5 versus, uh, I mean Willpower 5 versus 4. I'm just testing it. We might lose the rights of seeking, but it is what it is. I'm using Jacqueline's ability. Picking three and cancelling two. We'll pick the zero, so we are fine. Uh, investigation phase will investigate here. I am investigating uh, three versus two. No, first action will uh, actually. To. Yeah, the night count is just coming. We'll try to evade it this next turn. So, uh, first act, yeah, we'll just investigate five versus uh, three versus two. Do we want to commit anything? I'll commit the uh, scroll of six. So, uh, four versus two. And it is a uh, skull, so skull is a minus one. And I think I was playing the ARP. Uh, this, but yeah, we'll go with the investigation now. Then I will play this and cost three. Uh, last action, let's move to south side. Two route, one clue. Enemy face, this guy hunts here, uh, engages us, hits us for one and one. Upkeep, we draw a card, 
turn on pole and gain one more speed. Oh. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so unfortunately we advance, which I totally forgot. So we get the mass hunter again. So the mass hunter is a 4 fight for health plus 2 health and we wait. 100 health is lead to spawn, engage with prey. Prey must lose and it's a hunter, so it uh, engages with us. And now we are in a bit of trouble, so we get an encounter card this turn. This, well, <laughs> this helps us a bit. Uh, on Wings of Darkness, we're testing 4 versus uh, 2 versus 4. And I'm not using any skill, so uh, it's a 0, but we still fail, so we disengage from the mass counter. And we'll move here, take 1 damage and 1 horror. So we at least got away from the night count. Uh, not not the night count because it stays yes with us, but uh, from the mass hunter. And uh, let's see. Don't have anything to commit to the evasion, so we're just evading. Use, uh, we'll use the arbiter of fates. So evading the night count uh, two versus one. Three tokens, and we will pick the elder signs. So we pass. Evaded, and now we'll actually spawn a cultist. It is Victor Devro. So. Well, uh, we'll move to East Town then, because if we would have moved to the Miskatonic University, the Mask Hunter would hunt and catch us, so that's not good. Okay, uh, we'll go to the villain phase, so uh, to the enemy phase, I mean, uh, we'll go to River Town with the Mask Hunter. Nothing else happens, this guy already is in the upkeep. Oh yeah, let's go to this location. Yeah, we use two pools here, and uh, uh, that is. We we'll go to up. Keep you ready. Draw a card. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card for this turn is obscuring fog. So this uh, location gets. Plus two shroud, which is pretty annoying. Was just thinking of um, investigating and leaving, so we'll uh, use the right of seeking to investigate. This might be <laughs> a bad idea, but it is what it is. So big three tokens minus one. We'll cancel the rest, so minus one we succeed, we'll grab the two. And uh, uh, we'll spawn a cultist. Let's see what we get. It is the uh, it is Herman Collins, so it's uh, the cultist spawns at the Graveyard, just mark it with these. Okay, so uh, we might be able to get that and uh, maybe Victoria, but we have to deal with Wolf and Drew first. But yeah, uh, last action will move here, and Wolf and Drew engages us, and uh, that is our turn. Enemy face, Wolf and Drew. Hits us for two damage. Can't take this much longer. Uh, these guys hunt here. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, uh, sled dog, and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, 
we add a doom and count cardies. Uh, wizard of the Order, so spawn the wizard at St. Mary's Hospital and it gains a doom at the end of the round. Okay, first action we are evading this uh, uh, Wolfman Drew. I am not have anything to commit, so using the uh, Arbiter of Fates and we'll pick three tokens. So uh, we need to hit a Elder Sign or Zero or something like that to be a, of any use. So we hit the Zero, so we cancel these. Zero is enough. This guy is evaded. Here. Second action will move here. Uh, Victoria engages us. Last action will spend five resources to parlay. And Victoria has added to the victory display, so at least we got that. And uh, enemy face, these guys hunt here. And no other hunters upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. Ready. Gain one resource, so uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are the Doom, encounter card is. Uh, false lead, this can search. False lead can search. Lock door. Uh, here. That is that. Um, this is gonna be a first turn, so. We will uh, move, move. Play. We don't have any enough uh, resources. Okay, uh, we'll uh, play emergency cast to get some resources. And that is our turn. Enemy phase, these guys hunt. Okay, so they hunt here. And uh, we'll draw a card, uh, Mr. Frilly, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's see if I think we have a. We have nine cards, so we discard. Uh, say your prayers. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, last turn, I forgot to add one doom here, so we are already at five. So we're going to six. So this is actually the last turn. We have time to play anything. So we are at uh, six of eight doom encounter cards for this turn. Is Serious chanting, so unfortunately, uh, place to do mountaineers call this enemy if there are not much. Uh, got the dragon. This okay, well, this doesn't advance the uh, agenda, so we just place the two doom. And uh, the closest cultist is actually Herman Collins. Or, or this guy, but we'll add it there because we're going to defeat that guy. So that was the myth uh, myth mythos phase. We'll go to the investigation phase, move to the graveyard. Uh, second action, we will uh, discard four cars. One, two, three, four. Defeat Herman Collins. There are two clues here. And last action, we have to resign. So, um, that was the game. Uh, we did okay, I think. So, uh, uh, considering that we got a lot of enemies and maybe the not the best uh, cultist from the cultist deck. So, we defeated uh, Herman Collins and Victoria Ebro. Uh, we got one victory point from here. So, three... Uh, victory points in total, so not that bad, but could have been better. And it is what it is, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with the result, and it was a good uh, game considering we had to evade a lot, and our uh, evasion without any spells is only two, so uh, 
Jacqueline's ability really helped us here so that we could uh, grab three tokens from the back and uh, pick the one that was enough for the test and succeed. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.